Okay, this is a bit of an experiment. Okay, we're looking at the specification. On page 28, it says the example, recognize terming decimals as a fraction. So they've given us, where's my pen gone? Where's my pen? Where's the pen? Can't, oh, it's not plugged in, that's why. You have to move your computer up a bit. Okay, so the question says, recognize that 0.137 is equal to 137 over 1,000, which is obviously very easy. Everybody knows that. Then it says recognize that 1 seventh is equal to 0.142858571428.57. goes on, on, on forever. Next page. Um, know that 10% of a 10% of a means 10% means 10 per 100. That's easy as well, okay. Um, Keep going, let's find something difficult. Well, well, okay. Um, calculate, given, come back a bit here. 15%, okay, so to increase by 15%, this is all very easy, we multiply by 1.15. To decrease by 15%, we would multiply by 0 0.85. That's not, that's not quite so easy. Um, divide a quantity in a given ratio, okay. Um, how do I do this now? I want to move this page up. I oh, use my page. So maybe suppose you wanted to divide divide um, 24 in the ratio 3 to 1. I would do it like this. I would say I would say A to B, and then total, and then total, which is 3 to 1. The total there is actually 4. That's supposed to be that, right? Now, in this case, the actual total is 24. So multiply by 6, times that by 6, times that by 6 would give us 18. Um, recall integers, square numbers. So we need to know what 15 squared is. 15 squared is how much, boys? Tell me quick. 125. I don't think so. 225. Right. What's 14 squared? You need to know it, 196. Of course, you could work it out. You could do 7 squared, which is 49, mm -hmm. and then 4 times it. Okay, you need to know... Um, you need to know that... Um, what they got here? N to the power of third is the cube root of, of N. So, for example... 8 to the power of a third is equal to, we put a 3 there, and obviously the answer is how much? Two. 2. Okay. So if you wanted 8 to the power of 5 thirds, you would do the cube root first, which is 2, so it would be 2 to the power of 5, which is actually 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 2, which is 8 times 4, which is 32, however, however you want to do it. Okay. Next, next page. We're looking at those examples particularly. Why isn't that moving? What? Oh, I need a new page, that's why. Okay. Right, read the next bit out. Um. Um. Okay, that's all right. VAT increase, reverse increase. Okay, you can have this sort of. Let's find, can we find examples? Keep going. Well, compounding, what about compound interest? Suppose you've got £5,000 invested at, say, 4% for, say, 20 years. How much money would you have in the bank 20 years' time if you were still alive and the bank hadn't gone bust? The amount would equal, it would be 5000 multiplied by what? Come on, come on, come on. We're on, we're on, the, we're on the air. Now what? Times 10. To the, power to, the power of 20. to the power of 20, and that would give that would give you the answer. Okay. Now we've got to standard index standard index form. Suppose you had this: three times 10 to the power 8 multiplied by four times 10 to the power, let's say 200. Now you might be tempted to cheat, but most calculators probably wouldn't handle that, so you'd have to go back to brain power. What would the answer be to start off with? Quick. 12. Times 12 sorry. 12 times 10. 12 times 10. 208. Now, is that the answer? No. If not, why not? Because it can simplify more. 1.2 well, times 10 to the power of 209. Yeah. Right. 
Okay, that is correct. Right. Um, okay, next question. Um, sir, the exact surge without a calculator. So most you've got 3 over root 2. Right, so you do that 3 over root 2. Multiply by what? Root 2. What, like that? Yeah. Is that finished? Root 2 over root 2. Root 2 over root 2. So what does the top give us? 3 root 2. 3 root 2. What does the bottom give us? Two. Which is the answer, correct. Understand calculator displays. Use calculators in written methods, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay, keep going. Um, all those words, forget all those words. We're just looking for examples. Oh, then we've got some equations here. Okay, this is more like it. So, um, example, we're able, able, able to solve this. X squared plus 1 equals 82. I think you describe this as easy. So x squared will be 82 minus 1. So x squared is equal to 81. So x is equal to 9 or minus 9. You get two answers there with the square root, can't you? And then we've got the bracket. Don't go so fast. This is more it's quite important here. Yeah, right. Then we've got... Okay, you also need to know this, this, this fx, what that means. That means the same as y, really, for our purposes. Okay, next example. Um, obviously, you've got to know that a, um, b plus c is equal to ab plus ac. Um, you need to know expansion of brackets, x plus 2, um, x plus 3, which is how much quick? x squared. x squared plus... plus. 5x. Plus 5x plus 6. Plus 6. What about this one here? What about 7x plus 5 all squared? It's going to be um, 49x. 49x squared. X squared. Plus 12x. What's the rule? Is, What's the product here? What's 7x times 5? No, we're adding. What we're adding? What's seven? It's twelve. So it's twelve x. So we double that, which, which makes twenty-four. I didn't. I didn't hear anybody say twenty-four. Plus twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, I think the rest are fairly obvious, aren't they? Right. Next. Next page for an example. Um, oh dear, what's happening here? Oh, if I do this, I can new page. Okay. Um, Simplify, okay. Now this is a bit more complicated. You've got 1 over x plus 3 over 2x. So what will we do here? Times by no, you wouldn't. Get the um, cross, cross, multiply. cross multiply. No, you wouldn't. Denominator, right, so which will be what? Um, x bracket 2 minus x. Yeah. So what we've got at the top here? 1 into... One, two, well, just two, two, just two minus x, won't it? Plus what will go here? Th three, isn't it? Three x, okay. So the answer is um, two plus two x over x bracket two minus x. That can be simplified to the more because the top will factorise. So it's two bracket x plus one. Nice to put the x's first over x bracket two minus x. Okay, and um, that's about four minutes work. Mm.